Hi pals, welcome to my channel. My name is Jules and I'm a Scottish Highlander on a budget. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on yet another video. I seem to have had a bit of a, a small influx of new subscribers, so welcome. Um, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button um, and hopefully you've hit the notification bell and that'll let you know every time I post a video. So this is my journey from basically being skin, living wage to wage, overdrafts, credit cards, to being a bit more in control of my finances using budgeting and cash stuffing to do so i have now been doing this a year today's the first of january so happy new year everybody um i hope you had a lovely evening last night whatever you did whether you celebrated or whether you just went to bed and had a good sleep um we stayed up for the bells um i actually fell asleep before the bells woke up to my boyfriend doing a little buffet um it wasn't quite what i had planned i had planned a bit more but it, it was still lovely to wake up and he had a little bowls of uh, nibbles out and stuff so that was nice of him um and so then we stayed up till about one and then i woke up to snow this morning so it's there's quite a lot of snow um when it's still falling so hmm, yeah love that for us uh, but um yeah Anyway, I'm rambling. So yeah, I hope you all have a good, had a good evening last night, had a good end to 2022. And I really, really hope that um, 2023 will be really prosperous for you, that you um, find your way uh, in whatever you need to do. And it's just a really good year. So my... I haven't really had any goals. I was speaking to Glasgow on Budgets earlier. I don't have, haven't made any goals for this year yet. Um, I probably will at some point today sit and think about it um but all i know is that i want my financial future to be brighter than my past now i had a pretty good year last year having found him found budgeting um so i'm really hoping that this year i can continue along that thread continue to save and continue to have a better relationship with my money um so yeah so this, let's get going. This is my new budget planner, but unfortunately uh, we used it in the last video and we did our budget, but we're closing out 2022 once and for all. So we are going to find where I threw my book, which is here. <laughs> uh, we are going to just switch over to the old book. Um, I just wanted to finish off the year in one book so that I can look back and see everything I've done in 2022 in here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to close out, see what we're at and where we're at. Um, so I'm going to try a new way of kind of doing it. I'm going to start with my um, cash envelopes. Sorry, I've got the hiccups. Um, I'll start with my cash envelopes and see where we are with them. So uh, as you know, I um, didn't print off enough um pages so yeah we're gonna go into green which was december and we're gonna do the last week of december from my purse so um let's see what's in here back to front and dog hair in there too surprise surprise <laughs> so i've taken all my receipts out because i scanned them to make sure that they were in for the last day of the month um i do it on amazon um shopper panel it's called couldn't remember there for a second so i scanned all my receipts so basically what has happened is um i have gone shopping last week and i used some of my own groceries and some of my christmas food and then we actually went shopping on friday for new year's so i got some of my food and i just got it in the um with the christmas food budget so I am going to not put as much in as what I said I was going to on my, um, when I do my cash stuff in because I've already used some of it. Hope that makes sense. So for myself and Piper, we have five pound left. Um, I haven't finished this out. Let's have a wee look. So left over, we have five pound. Let's get back here and just see what we actually put in. This is all a bit ad hoc just now because I am, um, yeah, I'm just a bit all over the place. So we put 30 in for, was that for the two of us? Yeah, and then just the usual. So 65 for fuel, five for my spending, five for, and 10 for work spending. So we spent £25 on food for 
can you see okay there fuel we actually only spent 40 and so we have 25 pound left over and um, because it didn't work as much as i was meaning to um as I was meaning to, as I was expecting to, um, last week, and um, I ended up not going down to my mum's as often as I thought I would either, partly due to weather and partly because my sister actually came up here, so that was a day I didn't have to go down, which was brilliant. I really loved having the kids in my space. Um, it's very small and it was very hectic with an extra seven bodies in the living room, but it was great and I just loved having them with me. Um, my spending, we haven't spent anything, so we've got £5 left over. Miscellaneous is the same. And work spending, I did actually work. I didn't work on um, Wednesday, but I did actually work yesterday, but all the coffee shops were shut that we wanted to go to, so we ended up not actually going for coffee, which was a real shame, because we were looking forward to our last coffee of the year um, together, so... That was a bit disappointing. Um, so yeah, so nothing there. We still have Etsy postage, which will just get rolled over. And then we've got some change as well. I forgot about that. So that change is actually from my groceries. Where is that dog here and how did it get in there? Honestly, don't ever get a collie. Get a lassa because they don't molt. So let's see what change we have here. So we have one, two, fifty, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven. So we have seven fifty-seven left over. One, two, three, yeah, seven fifty-seven. So we actually spent 22.43. Um, normally I go through my receipts, but because I just scanned them and put them away, I didn't actually go through my receipts. But I know that that change was just from groceries because that was all I spent. Okay, so let's just move this over to the side for now. And go back to our pages here. And fill this in while we're here. So we spent, what was it? 22.43. Sorry, seasick. 22.43, we spent 40. And then we spent nothing, nothing, and nothing. And then we'll just put that we spent the £10 for Etsy because it went into the envelope. Okay, so let's get started now with our actual where we're at and see if we finish where we should finish. Let's hope we do. So we brought in £2,201.76. And we added £10 for Etsy, which gave us 221176. We then paid Prime the week before, which is why it's not come out there. And then we paid our Aqua Bill, so we'll deduct 34.55, which is 217721. We didn't use any sinking funds, we didn't pay any extra debt, but we did put all of what we were supposed to do into our sinking funds I just realized i haven't brushed my teeth and that is why my mouth feels yucky it's still morning i'm doing this before i've really done anything else today just to get it done and out of the way so we have 222 21 2222.21. Um, then we will add up our money here. So we've got 2243 plus the 40 
plus the 10, which is 70 to 43. We'll deduct that from 2022.21 minus 70 to 43, which gives us 1949.78. Sorry, I'm, I was just thinking. <laughs> um, we did put £20 into Spade. And let's see what else we can do with our challenges. Okay, so we've already done Me Time, which is the Spade one. Um, we That's the £20. We've already put that in there. And then we've completed the Moo, the monthly one. We didn't put anything in this month because we completed that. Rainy Day, Halloween has been changed. Black Friday, Christmas, New Year, New Me. So I've taken all the money out of these envelopes, um, the Christmas ones and stuff. Put that back into bank. So let's see, what are we going to put into the new year new me so we have 10 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 50 pound going in so we will do 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 so we should have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 95 pound in our new year new me envelope let's see if that's right so we have 20 30 40 50 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 so that is perfect Fifty into there. But we didn't put anything into our monthly challenge. And what I actually did on my um my new book actually, which is here, I actually went in and um. I counted up what was in the um, 50p, £1 and £2 trackers. So we're going to actually just change that um, to add in this money here. So the new me, new, new year one here will have 95 in because we are changing that and then we're going to put in 350p so i'll just write it here just now one pound 50 we're going to put one pound coin in and then we're putting five six seven pence in okay so i'll add them up off screen but okay so let's just cut these off mark these off so we're putting five six seven pence <clears throat> into our penny challenge we are putting one two three fifty pences into one two three so it's almost complete it's exciting <clears throat> and then we are putting one pound into our savings so in total, into our penny challenge, I'm just going to leave that to dry. We are putting in £2.57. £2.57. Okay. So we'll add that up. Don't really need the calculator, Julianne. Plus 20 plus £2.57 is 72.57 into 
our challenges and then we will deduct that from one nine four nine one nine four nine seventy eight minus seventy two pound fifty seven leaves us with one eight seven seven twenty one and we'll just flick through to what is in my actual bank and make sure So I roll over this one eight seven seven twenty one one eight seven seven twenty one. So uh, yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. Another week of getting it completely right. Um, I hate when I get it wrong and it, it just winds me up. But I am going to make a conscious effort to make sure that I um, do my expense trackers in twenty twenty three. Maybe that's one of my goals I could have because um, I really do think it it really does help and it makes all the difference um, because I haven't been doing it this month. So I'm just going to go and have a wee look and see how much I got paid and see what my actual rollover is for the month. Um, so we have, I don't know if I cleared that, 187721 and we're going to deduct what I got paid, which is 165162. So I have come into the new year with an actual rollover from December, not including my wages, of £225.59. So oh, that just feels brilliant. So if I hadn't I got paid or if I put my money in a different account for today, um, I would have still had £225.59 in my bank, which is, I'm sure a lot of you do understand, but it's very hard to explain. Me having that amount of money at the end of December, it just blows my mind. Regardless of any savings I've done throughout the year, having this amount of money left over in December is absolutely just insane. Normally, I'd have nothing in my bank, I'd be desperate for my pay, and um, I love had used credit cards, and I haven't. Actually, that's a lie, I did use credit card for, my, for a meal, but that was because I wanted to take the envelope with me. Um, but yeah, that's it wasn't to buy any you know, like necessity gifts as such, like for the family or anything like that. So yeah, it just feels absolutely amazing. So thank you so much to everybody that has supported me on my journey and helped me get there because I don't think if I wasn't doing YouTube, I would um, be anywhere near where I am now. But while I've got you here, I'm just going to quickly show you a couple of things. So um, let's do this first. We have money left over in my Christmas envelope, so I'm going to put it all together and um, decide what to do with it before I do my cash stuff in because I'm going to cash stuff it back into my budget. So um, in my hyper jar, through the accounts I had separately, I've put it all together and I have £60 left over in hyper jar, so that is on a card. Um, and then we have, I'm going to take, just take this out here because it's going, it might all come back into Christmas. I'm not really sure. But so we still have 20, 25, 30 left in Christmas. We have 25, 30, no, 10, 15, 20 left in food which um, it's actually a bit more because I used my groceries money. I used January first week grocery for that. So um, it would have been a bit more than that. So that is really good. Uh, my boyfriend's Christmas, he still has 20 left in there. And also the dogs Christmas, they still have 20. Christmas shopping has 20. That's a weekend away. There's 20 left in it. My own Christmas has got the full 50 left. And I did that so that I wasn't tempted to um, spend. And I didn't end up wanting anything for myself. And then I didn't want anything in the sales because I actually received a really lovely lot of Christmas presents. So I didn't actually need anything. So, um... 
yeah, I feel good. So that's why I've decided to do the same for my birthday. So that, um, not that I want anything, but if around my birthday time, I see something that I would like, um, I can um, just get it for myself, basically. And also we have... Um, I'm still using this envelope, so I haven't made my own, but um, £10 in my boyfriend's birthday, which I'm going to take out of there as well, um, because I'm just going to use the same method as I did last year and have him, like, sort of Christmas build up, if that makes sense. So, A's birthday. Still had 10 So, let's add that up and see what we actually are left with. I don't really know the full amount I had saved um, up. But that's kind of by the by now, the fact that I've still got money left over. I will add it up at some point. So I still have £230 left over from all my Christmas spending, which absolutely blows my mind. So let's start. We've got 60 in Hyper Jash, so 60, 80, 100. 120, 140, 160, 180, 190, 200, 210, 215, 220, 225, 230, 230 pounds left over for, from all of the Christmas money, um, which I'm not sure if I'm going to put it back into Christmas. I think I might just to give or put some of it back in just to give it a wee head start um, or into my car insurance, car tax try and get them complete not really sure i'm going to have a think about it give me your suggestions if you want i would really appreciate that and then the last thing i want to show you is just a little plug for um, myself and for danielle the budget and bear um our etsy stores so if you follow us on instagram you will have seen but um every order placed in january until stocks last i suppose but they will all get um a little savings challenge well one one of each of these so two savings challenges um so yeah they're just so cute so you save a hundred pound um for both of them so there's five pound on this one you score off the stars and then five pound each on this one you score off the bells and uh, yeah it's just super super cute little uh, savings challenges so if you were to do these in 2023 then you would have 200 pounds saved um but yeah just a little cute little giveaway for you all. So anybody that orders from my Etsy store in January or from uh, the Budget and Bear, um, you will receive one each of these challenges until stocks last, I suppose. Um, I do have a good amount of them, so I'm not predicting to run out, but get your order in quick if you want them. Um, but yes, thank you to Danielle for asking me to collab with her. Really really appreciated it. It was a lovely, lovely gesture. So yeah, so that is it. I'm going to go now. Um, but yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. Have a lovely, lovely day, like whatever you are doing. And um, yeah, just all the best for 2023. Take care. Bye-bye.